God loves you, God loves me, and God loves everybody. God loves you, God loves me, and God loves everybody. Hello, universe. Hey, universe. Hello. All right. Well, God loves you, and God loves me, and God loves everybody. All right. Well, welcome back to the Mrs. Wonderful Show, mm -hmm. episode two, season three. Right. Woo! Well, everybody, mm -hmm. I have a guest and co-host. Mm -hmm. Please give it up for Tony. Hi, Yay! Everybody. How's everybody doing? And here? give him a round of applause. Woo! I want to say that Mr. Bumpkins Mr. is Bumpkins. on. Yes, Mr. Bumpkins. I'm not gonna get a chance to meet Mr. Bumpkins today. No, Mr. Bumpkins is actually on vacation. Wow. Can you believe it? He's on vacation. Hey, everybody need everybody need a little R and R, right? I know, a right? Relax, rel relaxation. I know. Everybody need a little bit of that every now and so on. And I'm working, and he's on vacation. Wow, wow. <laughs> yes. Be the next one to go on vacation. Oh, woo, uh, woo. Well, to Mr. Bumpkins, wherever you at. Sorry, I didn't get a chance to meet you today, but I guess I hit you on the next time you be on the show. Hopefully. Wow. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hmm. All right. Thank you. All right. I want to say that this season, mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about using your gift and the road to success. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. To, today, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about how mistakes comes with success. There's a lot of mistakes that come with success. Uh, a oh. lot. There's yeah. a lot of mistakes that come with success, guys. A lot of them. Okay. All right. All right. You see, you mm -hmm. always see the finished product, mm -hmm. but you never see what goes on behind the scenes. Right. Okay. That's it true. takes, yeah, it mm -hmm. takes a lot of hard work mm -hmm. and redos in order to have anything successful. Well, that's that's part of the process. You're going through the hard work and you're going to make some mistakes when you're going through the hard work. So that's all a part of the process of doing this thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Now, mm -hmm. you see, you can't allow mistakes to stop you from pursuing your goal or dream true 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 yes okay if anything is worth having mm -hmm. you know you will make mistakes right, right. Mm -hmm. and when you make a mistake learn from it learn from your mistakes. learn from it the whole purpose about going through some successes and everything like that when you make these mistakes these are building blocks mm. so if you got building blocks and you learn from these building blocks it makes it kind of easier so when you go through it again when you go through this process again, you already made the mistakes in the past. So once you made the mistakes, you learn from your mistakes and you can move on so you can keep on repeating. Mm -hmm. Well, not repeat the failures, but you can repeat the successes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. All right. <laughs> and uh, Tony, I want to say it's nice having you on the show. Um, it's good to be on the show. Yes. I mean, we're shaking hands now, but that's good to be on the yeah. show. All right. All yeah. right. Right. Now you see... You did become experienced in your area of studies yeah. when you're, you know, making mistakes and learning from it. Right, right. Now, if you watch some of your favorite performers mm -hmm. or actors, entertainers, mm -hmm. what you see is the many hours it took mm -hmm. to produce that particular show or event. Right. Hard work and dedication, baby. Yes. Hard work and dedication. Yes. Yes. I make a lot of mistakes, a lot, and especially yes. on the show too. Mm -hmm. I make mistakes all the time, but I don't allow that to stop me. You see, I do my best mm -hmm. and allow God to do the rest. That's good. That's that's a good quote. You know, there's another quote too. Not to take off your quote, yeah. But there's another quote. When I'm working out, I do P90X workout program, and Tony Horton. Says something that's sort of similar to that. Tony Horton. Tony Horton. Okay. Says something that's similar to that. He says, "Do your best and forget the rest." So it's kind of like similar. All you gotta do, you put your mind into it, and you do the best that you can do. And as long as you're doing the best that you can do, you gotta forget about everything else. Forget about the failures. Forget about if you feel like you can't do it. You just have to go ahead and do your best. And as long as you're doing your best, everything else is secondary. Mm. So that's how. I, that's what I take away from that. That if I'm doing my best and I'm doing the best that I can do at it. And everything else is secondary. Mm -hmm. I forget about everything else. I forget about the rest. So it's similar to what you said, which was you do your best and God will take care of the rest. Yes. Yeah. And that's what God wants you to do in whatever area of studies that you're in. Right, right. Like you, like I said, 
and do your best and allow God to do the rest. Do the and what Tony Horton says now? He says, do your best and forget the rest. Do your best, do and, your for best and, and forget, forget the rest. The rest. Oh, yeah, I, take, I, your mind, take your mind out of it. Get out of your head about it. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Get out of your head about All right. It. All right. Hi, Tony Horton, by hey, the way. Tony Horton. <laughs> hey. Great inspiration, bro. <laughs> So, all right. Well, is there anything else you would like to add, um, Tony? Um, I don't feel like I have anything else to add to this. But um, I know I missed the last show, which I yes, was, I was yes. supposed to be here on the last show, but I had a, had some other things going on, some other other ventures I had going. Uh, not adventure, not adventures, but yeah. other avenues and other things I had going on. So I couldn't, I wasn't able to get to the show the last time. But I know you was talking about chasing your gift. Yeah, chasing right. We were talking about using yeah. how you know using using your gift. We yeah. were talking about yes. If you check out the last show, um, if you go to um, YouTube mm -hmm. and look at um, the Miss Wonderful Show season three, season episode three. One, so one, it'll be about using your gift yeah. and you know how to use your gift and the gift that God put inside of you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like your gift is with you everywhere you go, which is true. With, Yes. You, everywhere you go, no matter where you go, your gift is always going to remain inside of here. And you got to remember that when you're chasing your gift, that nobody else is going to want your gift or your dream bigger than you. And I know you got, there's a lot of uh, negativity. Yes. There's a lot of people out there who. Yes. It's not going to want your dream as hard as you're going to want your dream. Yes, and we, I want you to stay tuned and watch these episodes that's yeah. coming up because we're going to be talking about a lot of material, you know, about your gift. And I, you just do not want to miss yeah, you it. You don't want to miss it because you we do got not want to miss we it. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. Yes, we all about yes. to empower people and make them yes. stronger and make them better. Yes. All about increasing yourself, all about improving yourself. Yes. Which is the best thing. And one of the things that we talking about improving yourself is chasing your gift. There's a lot of us out there that we we've, we've gotten our, our 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 vision for our gift early in life. Yes. A lot of us get it late. We might get mm -hmm. it in our twenties, we might get it in our thirties, we might get it in our forties, we might even give it, get it in our fifties. But the point of the matter is that you've been put on this earth to do something. Wow. You've been put on this earth to do something great. God has implanted something great inside of all of us. Yes. You know? Embrace it. It's embrace amazing. It. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, it can be scary when you're learning your gift. It can very, be very, very scary. Very scary. Yes. And you don't know, you don't know which way you're going to go, how you're going to get there, but you know that there's something inside of you. And it could be so big. That's one thing we talked about on the last show, saying mm -hmm. that your family might not understand your gift. Mm -hmm. You know, you might be, you know, living with your mom or your dad or your boyfriend, your girl, girlfriend, husband, mm -hmm. excuse me, or whoever, but they might not understand your gift. So, you know, you just mm -hmm. have to... You know, hopefully talk it, you know, talk or uh, talk it over with them and just, mm -hmm. you know, just know that sometimes it might be hard because your dream might be so big that others around you might not understand. That's why you have to be careful who you share your gift with, too, True. you know, because not everybody is going to understand and support your not gift. Gonna understand and everybody's not going to support your gift. And you want to make sure that you hang around people that honor your gift. But right. we're going to talk about that, you know, we'll later that, on at another time, at another, at another time. Just touching on that, just touching on that, uh, on that, on that subject, just kind of yeah. going back touching on that again we just want to make sure that whatever you're chasing and whatever dream has been set inside of your heart that you chase it a hundred percent that you give it your all and it's going to be scary it's going to be very scary it's going to be very you know, scary this is part of one of the things that mistakes <clears throat> are going to come with you reaching your success and reaching your goals but you just got to keep on keeping on you got to keep on moving you got to keep on pushing those who are not in your corner you just got to keep on moving i have this saying that i always say if you in my way I'm going to do whatever I have to do to run over top of you, hmm. so simply put. And I'm not meaning that in a mean way, and I'm not meaning that in a in a way where it just sounds like, wow, he's just kind of cold-blooded. Yeah. Sometimes you got to be cold-blooded when you're chasing what you want to chase because it has to do with your happiness. Hmm. And that's to do with your happiness. And if it's something that's been implanted inside of you, you have to do whatever you have to do to get there. Hmm. You have to do whatever you have to do to get there. I'm not saying doing nothing, not doing nothing crazy and not doing nothing that's going to make people feel horrible about you. But you got to understand that everybody's not going to share the same dream that you have. Because as you said earlier, your dream could be so big and your dream could be so grand that other people can't see it. Right. And it's not their job 
for other people to see it. As long as you see your vision, as long as you see your dream, then that's what's most important. Wow, that's, thank you. That's and I want important. to say, mm -hmm. if your spouse, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, mm -hmm. if they really sincerely love you, mm -hmm. then they will. They will support you. They, will support they might not you. understand it. <laughs> doesn't mean that they love you any less that we don't want people to we don't want y'all to get this confused by saying well i got a husband or i got a wife or i got a girlfriend and they see my vision but they don't really see my vision doesn't mean they don't love you any less they just can't see what you see because that's been implanted inside of you and they might be mm -hmm. scared because they might think oh well i'm gonna lose this person mm -hmm. but in overall you know if you keep god first and you have god to be the overseer you know god would sure bring you guys together again and mm -hmm. you know you guys can work together you know and keeping it making it being a team yeah. being a team yeah. you know so therefore you know you guys can um you know do this together you know True. and support one another right just be I'm, supportive yes be supportive just be supportive to whoever to anybody that's out there that's chasing a dream and you got uh people inside of your life that might not they're not seeing it you know just you know you, you don't take it personal don't take it to the heart you know and it's, it's i know it's hard because it's particularly these are people that you are doing it for you know so just make sure that you know you keep your you keep your eye focused on the prize Keep your eye focused on the prize and you keep on pushing and you keep on going after what you want to go off. We getting off topic, ain't we? Because no. we going back to the other show. Yeah. And we've got to be staying on this show uh, about making mistakes in your success. And we yeah. kind of going backwards. But so we want to move back. We're, we're, we're actually, okay. I feel like we're okay because okay. I feel like, I feel like we're okay. Okay. We're okay because people need to hear this. And this okay. is very important. I didn't want to. No, you are actually, you're doing, subject, a, you are doing an excellent mm -hmm. job. Okay. You're doing an excellent uh, excellent wonderful okay. job okay. i just want to say that and um actually you know i want to say um you know that since it we're, we're going to go on to the book of the season mm. can you introduce the book, book of, the of the season it's right yeah season. book of the season yeah and tell us about your insight what you're doing i really ready okay your insight about using your gift and okay. yeah just tell us about well, i need to put this yeah. in the frame because i'm kind of yeah. coming out this is the book we going on and you did use this yes yeah this is the book that we're using which is called act like a success think like a success by my man steve harvey who's written some other great books as well yeah but this is by my man steve harvey this is a good tool good guy good tool and a good guy to use whatever you chasing whatever you chasing it's a very good guy to use i've been reading i'm still reading it because i'm going back and forth because there's some things i'm grabbing some things that i'm not grabbing but it's something that you can pick up multiple times and you can keep on reading and keep on learning stuff and keep on picking things up from it. So this is our book of the season. Once again, Act Like a Success, Think Like a Success by my man Steve Harvey. You've been reading it as well. Yes, Same excellent, thing. excellent so book. We're going to be referring to this book a lot, but this is a good book to pick up. It's some good things in there. A lot of stuff I can't remember right now, but I'm going to take some notes and come back to y'all with a lot of things that's good in this book. But great book to read, good thing to pick up. Good book to pick up. Hi, Steve Harvey. Hey, Steve Harvey. What's up, man? Night. <laughs> All right. Well, that concludes our discussion okay. on, you know, um, this this topic right now. Okay. So we're going to go on to our um, news segment. Okay. All right. For our news segment. The show's very diverse, ain't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> very For diverse. our news seg segment. Okay. Today in news, we're going to talk about zebras. Zebras are single hoof animals that are native to Africa. Okay. Woo, Africa. Okay. Did you know that zebras all have different stripes? I didn't know that. Yes, they what? all have different stripes. How cool. Look, I got. Well, make, make me think about. Zebra stripes. Well, they're not zebra stripes, but I'm just they saying. Black and white, like black and white stripes made me think about. Did I know they had different, stri different stripes? Yeah, they have different stripes. Okay. Just like us humans have no two exact fingerprint no i didn't know that oh you didn't know I that i didn't know that yeah well that's kind of cool right yeah, but that, yeah that's, that's that's cool that they got different color not different color but different designed yeah stripe well i guess that kind of makes sense that is that <laughs> is god at work yeah god yeah, god is awesome that is god at your work. work is awesome god like yeah. that is so cool yeah. according yeah. According to the National Geographic, mm. zebra stripes are used as camouflage okay. to hide from its predators, which includes lions, leopards, and cheetahs. 
I thought you was gonna say lions, tigers, and bears. Oh no, <laughs> lions, <laughs> leopards, and cheetahs. Right. <laughs> okay. And that's all the news we have for you today. Okay. My name is Mrs. Wonderful, and actually, and Mrs. Wonderful, and this actually is Tony too. So, Mrs. Wonderful reporting from the Mrs. Wonderful show. All right. Now. If you have a question for me, Mrs. Wonderful, mm. Mr. Bumpkins. Who's on vacation. Who's on vacation. Yeah. Tony, please contact us at ksharpkids at gmail.com. Right. Again, that's ksharpkids at gmail.com. And remember, stay cool, cool. stay smooth, smooth, and stay marvelous. Marvelous. And you know what? Tony, I would like to say a special thanks, you know, um, to you and God. I'm sure he appreciates you for being on the show. Well, I'm going to be here all season. Uh, yes, and I just was going to say thank you for joining oh, us. Oh, whenever Mr. Bumpkins come back from vacation. Maybe <laughs> we can have an interaction. But I'm looking for you, Mr. Bumpkins, because I came here ready to interact with you, but you're not here. So I'm a little disappointed, but I got Miss Wonderful here. So I guess if Miss Wonderful here, you here. So... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'm looking so, for you, Mr. Bumpers. I'm a little upset you on vacation. But I'm looking for you. Yeah. So, yeah, so um, I look forward to having you this season. Okay, I ain't going nowhere. I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. All right. I ain't going nowhere. And can you hand me my thank you, my timorine? Are you great? You singing again? Yes. Don't mind my voice. I can't sing, but I'm going I'm to I'm I'm try. All right. You're I'm ready? Try. I'm ready. Universe, I love you. I love you so much. Okay. All right. All right. God loves you, God loves me, and God loves everybody. God loves you, God loves me, and God loves everybody. Woo! Well, we will see you next time. Signing off. See you next time. Happy dreams. Alrighty.